This wide and universal theatre presents more woeful pageants than the scene wherein we play. All the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players. They have their exits and their entrances, and one man in his time plays many parts, his acts being in seven ages. At first, the infant mewling and puking in the nurse's arms. <laughs> then, the whining schoolboy with his satchel and shining morning face, creeping like snail unwillingly to school. <laughs> and then, the lover, sighing like a furnace with a woeful ballad made to his mistress' eyebrow. <laughs> then, the soldier, full of strange oaths and bearded like the pod, jealous in honor, sudden and quick in quarrel, seeking the bubble reputation even in the cannon's mouth. Then the justice in fair round belly with good cape on lined, eyes severe and beard of formal cut, full of wise saws and moderate instances and so he plays his part. <laughs> the sixth age shifts into the lean and slippered pantaloon, <laughs> spectacles on nose and pouch on side, uh, his youthful hose well saved, a world too wide for his shrunk shank, <laughs> and his big manly voice turning again towards childish treble pipe, <laughs> whistles in his sound. The last scene of all, this strange, eventful history, the second childishness, and mere oblivion, sans teeth, sans eyes, sans taste, sans everything. <laughs>